Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, Chief Product Evangelist for Luminar AI, and I'm here today to answer this frequently asked question. There are a few ways to install the plugins. First up, make sure that Adobe Photoshop isn't running when you go to install. After launching the installer, click Accept. It will likely see the plugins and the install location. Then click Install. You can decide whether or not to allow Skylum to collect data that's anonymous that will help improve the product. Once the installation is finished, just click Launch. The plugin should have been installed into Photoshop. However, some users may report issues. In this case, what you could do in this case, what you could do is go to the Luminar AI menu on Mac or the File menu on Windows and choose Install Plugins. It will now scan to locate. If you have any issues or ever need to reinstall the plugins, click Uninstall and if necessary, enter your password. You can then reinstall the plugin and choose Done. Open a photo into Adobe Photoshop. For best results, choose Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. Now you can apply filters non-destructively and easily re-edit. From the filter menu, choose Skylum Software, Luminar AI. Luminar will launch and the plugin window will open. You'll notice that only the templates and edit panel are visible. This is because you don't use the catalog when running Luminar as a plugin. Feel free to choose from the different templates and quickly apply a style that you like to the image. You can also click to edit and easily modify. The Composition AI tool is not a part of the Photoshop plugin because Photoshop requires that the image be returned at the exact same pixel dimensions as it was originally sent to the plugin. You can easily take advantage of different tools. For example, Sky AI. And I'll apply a dramatic sunset. Quickly relight the scene and adjust the overall lighting. And adjust the overall sliders a little bit to give it the perfect look. When I'm done, I can click Apply, and the results are returned to Adobe Photoshop on the layer. If you used it as a smart object, you could double click here on the layer to revisit Luminar and pick up where you left off in the future. 